Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time <laughs> since I came on here. Um, but I'm going to be moisturizing my hair, so I figure I'll just try to do it on camera um, and share with you guys. Um, my hair have grown, you see that? <laughs> and I've been clip like, clipping the end so that um, it looks, you know, neater. Um, but yeah, it's grown a lot. Um, okay, so to uh, moisturize my hair, I'm going to be using um, Dr. Locke's um, Janan Leave-In Conditioner. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this a million times throughout my lock um, journey. Um, and then I'm going to go with um, the Dr. Locke's Yaya Oil. It looks like this. Um, sometimes it depends on what size you buy. You will get it in, um, in this uh, white... Um, uh, bottle. Um, if you don't have Dr. Locke's leave-in spray um, or the oil, you can use whatever leave-in conditioner um, uh, that you have. One of my uh, other favorites, cheaper favorites, <laughs> um, is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil uh, Strength and Shine Leave-in Conditioner. I've also talked about this um, quite a lot. It's a much cheaper alternative, um, but I really like Dr. Lux, um, and it's it's you know it's a uh, black owned and all of that jazz and it makes my hair feel really 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 well. Um, also, if you um, if you buy Dr. Lux um, products using Glob Natural Life 15, um, you get a discount. So um, just want to share that as well. Um, but this video is by no means shape or form sponsored. But these products ha I have been using for years. If you've been following me, you know that. Um, okay, so. I retwisted my hair maybe like maybe two weeks ago so you see it's still fresh right so I don't want to disrupt that too much um so I'm gonna do my best to um to not <laughs> unravel my roots um and that can be difficult when you're moisturizing um your hair um when you have a fresh retwist my hair is very dry, my scalp, so not my hair, but my scalp is very dry, dry. <laughs> so um, I tend to dry up more than, more than people, other people, so um, I have to moisturize, um, you know, often. So I section off my hair, and then I'm going to go into sections. So I section off my hair in two parts, and then, um, and then I'm section off, you know, the other side into two parts. So because I don't want to unravel... Uh, my roots. I'm going to start at the end with my leave-in spray and again you can use your own. You can also make your own leave-in spray. Um, I normally use uh, rose water uh, rose water um, and my favorite oils and stuff um, to to make my own leave-in spray or you can just buy a cheaper one like the one I just showed you. Um, so I'm going to take my leave-in and taking my leave-in spray and I'm really just spraying the shaft of my locks. I'm not going into my roots yet. And then once I feel like I sprayed it enough, <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with my brush um, to, to brush that product into my locks. You see how long this, this, this hair got? Like, I'm like, it's just crazy to me when I'm like looking at it on camera. Um, but I like the uh, leave-in spray because it just, it just really leaves my hair feeling um, super moisturized and nice and luscious. <laughs> um, and I've been going into the office a lot more, which, you know, my job is crazy, which is one of the reasons why you have not been seeing me on YouTube. Um, um, so, yeah, so I've been going in more often, so I, I'm starting to, like, go back into the whole grooming process again. Um, so yeah. Okay. So now that I feel like the, 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 um, the shaft of my locks is soft and it feels really nice. Um, and by brushing the, my, my lock, um, it just, it just helps it to get inside, get, get the moisture to get inside, um, uh, the, the lock instead of, instead of just sitting like on the surface. So now at my roots, I'm going to also spray my roots. Okay, but I'm not brushing and, and I'm not um, unraveling and I'm holding my hair taut. Hope you can see that. I'm holding it taut because I do not want my roots to, un, um, to unravel. 
And then I sprayed my roots with my leave-in and I'm just using my hands, hope you can see that, using my hands to to smooth that down and smooth it in without unraveling my twist. And this is just by using the leave-in conditioner. Now I'm going to go and do the exact same thing with the oil. I like this oil because I like, well, I love the oil, but I love the, 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 um, the spout as well because it just... It just distributes it really well. Um, so I'm going to do it all over my roots. Yeah. Make sure that it gets everywhere. And I'm going to do the same thing in my hands. And I'm see I'm holding my, my hair taut um, so that it doesn't unravel. And by doing this motion with my hand too, um, it, it would, you know, it, it lays down all, any of like the frizzies. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it lays it down. So if my hair was not did not have a fresh root twist, I would just go with the brush and like go like this and like brush it everywhere. But because I'm scared about <laughs> um, unraveling my roots, I'm just using my hands. But I'm using the brush though to do my edges because my edges, my edges need you just sometimes. Um, so now that I did my roots, I'm going to um, spray the oil on the shaft of my. Um, of my lock and then I'm going to smooth that down as well okay and then I'm going to take my brush I like this brush it has like a soft side and a hard side um, I got it on Amazon it's really old like many years old <laughs> like many years old um, but by doing this it makes it makes it look so smooth and like soft um and i really hope you can see how nice this looks um but i wish you could feel it too <laughs> um and then i'm just gonna twist it and put it away and then move on to the next to the next side but that's basically what i do um and it just leaves my hair feeling really 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 nice and like i said like i have to now starting to pay attention <laughs> to my hair now like i can't just get up and run and go because um, back into the office again and my life as I said is crazy um, if you don't know what I do I'm a regulatory affairs manager so for beverage packaging and when I tell you the litigation space <laughs> for beverages I mean, I mean not for beverages but for food materials is crazy like um, you know like for like just to give you a reference for example there's like a lot of new regulations now banning PFAS and BPA and stuff from packages. So it does a lot to like keep up with and to make sure that, you know, the vendors that we buy packages from are complying and it does a lot of work and a lot of traveling now, which I'm not happy about. Um, but you gotta pay the bills, right? YouTube is not my job. <laughs> Um, but I am, I'm, I'm really going to try to make a better effort to, to, you know, to find time. Oh, and guess what? Your girl is back in school. Yes, I started my MBA. It's about time anyway. Um, so don't ask me how I'm doing all of this and being a new mom, a newer mom, because I have a, I have a 14-month-old um, now, um, and managing school and life and everything. But <sighs> it's going to be all worth it in the end. Um, okay, so I see I'm doing the exact same thing, and I'm going to do that throughout my entire head, and I don't know if you want to stick around for the whole shebang, um, but I'm basically doing the exact same thing that I showed you in the front, and then now I'm taking my oil, and oiling my scalp, and I'm going to do the same thing to the shaft, and then rub all of that juiciness, juiciness, <laughs> all over and then do my little um, smoothing technique. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush, do my do the back of my my head, because I know the kitchen situation can be a little crazy. And then I'm going to brush the entire shaft of my lock. And make sure you get everything. And if you feel like if you feel like your section is too big, you know, make it smaller. Um, 
but feel it you know and if it feels really nice and juicy then you know that you're doing a good job and if you don't then spray some more like i feel like here needs a little bit more niceness so yes this is what i do um it feels good to actually be talking to you guys again um comment below and tell me um how do you retwist your i'm sorry how do you <laughs> refresh your um your your uh retwist with moisture without unraveling your locks because this is the only way i can do it um and then i just take this section down normally i would have like um you know hair ties <laughs> to do this um but i just had what i had so i'm just gonna take the one from over here and put it over here um so yeah and let me know what you would like for me to do next um video wise like you know what is it you want to you know you want me to talk about also it doesn't have to be hair related like i'm a whole professional like i'm a whole like i have a whole job <laughs> outside of um youtube you know I, i've changed careers a couple times within this company um you know i used to be a programmer in my in, in my back in the days and now i changed to something else and um uh you know being a senior leader it's not easy being be not being black it's not easy with locks on your head like <laughs> um you know not you know i don't i don't conform um to the norm so um if you want me to talk about other things other than here i can do i can do that and also if you don't feel like you need like you have to separate like you must divide your like you know your your half of your half of your head into another section you can do what i'm doing here where you just make sure that you're not unraveling just lift your um just lift the the lock and get into the roots to spray just don't just don't you know just don't be a ragamuffin on your um on your roots so you're not unraveling so now this feels really good but now i need to go in with my brush and this kitchen side let me show you oh my god look at that i hope you can see it it's like really bad <laughs> back there <laughs> it gets no love um so yeah but i'm just brushing it piece by piece and then i'm gonna go and give my scalp some love so i'm gonna hold it taut like i showed you divide my two parts and use my hands and give it some rub down like i would say back home in jamaica um and then just pull it down you know rub the product down and squeeze it in as much as you can you really don't want to just moisturize the just the outside of your locks you want all of that niceness to get inside and make your hair feel moisturized like it does right now and it feels really good um and what i like about um this product is is that it it's all natural so there's no there's nothing bad in there there's nothing that would give me um you know uh build up or any of that stuff um the first couple of ingredients is water coconut oil avocado oil argan oil apricot oil and vitamin e and then in the um uh cream of nature it kind of, it's really the same thing there's a few things in here i don't know exactly what they are <laughs> but um but it feels really good and i've been using it for years too and i have not had any build up this i'm sure is like a few ingredients and ingredients that you know and you have probably already used on your, on your hair in some capacity or another um so yeah so this is what i do um i'm actually doing this in between <laughs> zoom meeting so i'm gonna have to hurry up and and go um but this is what i do and then i put my hair up or i let it out normally when i'm doing my zoom meetings i have my hair out because i feel like when my hair is back in a ponytail i look like a child um <laughs> so i'm gonna go through on um throw on some lipstick real quick and go to my meeting so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and again let me know below uh what do you do uh to moisturize your hair without unraveling your roots um, i would like to learn from other people um and i hope you like this video and see you in my next one <laughs>